Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the channel where unfortunately it is the final day of the Black Series tour, and we only have one Black Series remaining. Today, we're gonna to be heading all the way from here at the Nürburgring, where finally the weather has turned. It is pretty horrible outside. But we're gonna be heading from here via Spa, where there is an event on Spa, the famous F1 circuit in Belgium, when we then take both the C63 Black Series and the G63 onwards to the Schmuseum, wrapping up what has been an incredible week on the road, a very busy week, a very Black Series themed week. I'm not sure at the moment, which car I'm actually going to jump in for the first leg. We'll have a bit of a swap around along the way. It's going to be a long day on the road, though, to get these two back home. Up to this point, we've had some pretty good luck with the weather, it has to be said. It has been blue skies and very nice pretty much every day, which for this time of year has been quite bizarre. Both cars, though, are going to need a proper wash when we get them back. Today, a few more miles coming up for each of the C63 and the G, but not the GT Black Series or the SLS Black Series, because as I said, they are staying out here with Opus, the GT Black Series, to get some updates and upgrades, the SLS Black Series, to get a few things just looked at and made sure all is perfect and well with the car, having done quite so many miles with it. I think I have made the decision, and for me, it is going to be the G63 today, at least to get things started as we head out from the Eiffel Mountain. So let's hop in, get the cars started up, take them out, and get this journey underway. This is hilarious. The navigation thinks we're on the Nürburgring. Look at that. That legitimately, is it? Or is it like the back road? Either way. No, that's the, that's, that's the F1 circuit. This is the Grand Prix circuit into the uh, Mercedes corner through the beginning. That's hilarious. It will probably work out exactly where we are in a minute. But as I said, unfortunately, the weather out here is a little bit grim. And a little bit grim is an understatement. It's foggy, it's wet, it's miserable. And I need to give you a parking ticket so we can actually get out of here. Done. So, how we cruise? This is exactly the weather where you don't want to be in a GT Black Series on the Cup 2Rs. This would be awful. It's actually 12 degrees Celsius somehow, but it doesn't look it. Foggy, wet, grim. Maybe this afternoon is going to be bright sunshine because that's just how it works here. But unfortunately, this is the end of this little adventure. I imagine I'm going to be back here at the Nürburgring in not very long because there is one certain Lamborghini awaiting collection at the other end is now ready to be driven on the roads so all being well that can come back out the gt black series will be ready and the sls is here too so as we head now along the main boulevard we go under the uh, good old nurburgring sign and um we question our decisions that have led us to being here in the gloom although well, i have actually been here in the snow before there was one day when i was here with the ford gt and there was snow on the ground and i drove it out on sport cup two tires that was slightly precarious. For now, we actually have some nice roads to drive. Heading from here to Spa, it's like five minutes off the route when you're going back towards the UK. It's very, very convenient, and it's a nice route also. So we head across and we'll go through Belgium, and then onwards on our way, on our travels. I think the first thing we need is a fuel stop, because despite this car having well, more than three quarters of a tank, C63 is basically empty and has a pathetic tank, so we need to do something about that before we get too far on the road. And maybe later on we'll swap and we'll drive that for a leg as well, I'm not quite sure. And then we'll take the Eurotunnel Crossing back over towards the United Kingdom. Well, even the G63 can be put into individual mode and enjoyed on a lovely road like this, surrounded by all of the oranges, yellows, of the autumnal leaves. Over this bridge, we're going to enter Belgium. Maybe 
we're already in Belgium. I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, here we go. There's the Belgium sign on the left. In the middle of the bridge. There's the viaduct even. Uh, flying over a valley. Um, yeah. This is a bit, bit grim. This is like, like really grim. But I suppose we would do some of that after how good the rest of the trip has been. When we get to Spa, I don't really know how the rest of the day is going to go. Because this isn't the weather you want at Spa Francorchamps. Which is notoriously treacherous at the best of times. But hey, we're on the Belgian motorways. Let's cruise from here. Let's see where we end up. Well, here we are. Our checkpoint for the day. Circuit de Spa Francorchamps. This is the Stavelo entrance, so we've kind of come from the other side to normal. Um, I've never actually arrived from this side and need to work out exactly how to enter. I'm not entirely sure where we go. But we will work this out in a second and going into the paddocks. Tunnel time, right. <laughs> the sea behind us. Um, bum, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, left, left. Yeah, there we go, thanks Ben. <laughs> Heading to the paddocks. Well, here we are then in the pit lane at Spa. Today is an RSR Spa premium track day. Race cars, road cars, and a pretty incredible lineup. 992 GT3, 675 LT with a roof. We've had all sorts of race cars going past, and lots of Porsche Cup cars out on the track. They're running all sorts of experience and driving academy training as well. And it seems we might be able to go out for a gentle lap in the G-Wagon quite shortly. So that's the plan at the moment, to gear ourselves up, to go and take some photos out on a very wet and muggy Spa Grand Prix track with the G63 and probably the C63 as well, which is not what you do every day. Well, we're in the pit lane in the G-Wagon. I'm not entirely sure if we can do a U-turn. Uh, we actually have to drive quite quietly because it's the lunch break, um, which means comfort mode, not noisy, noisy mode. But we can line up in the pit lane with both cars and very shortly we'll be going out, which is crazy to be saying this. Well, here we go then. A G63 is heading out the pit lane at Spa. Um, as I said, slow, steady, gentle, and easily. I've done quite a few track days here in the past with my Senna 675LT Spider, 650S Spider, 675LT Coupe, and I've been around in like a Koenigsegg one-to-one -one and a whole load of other cool stuff. And now we're heading down towards Radion in the G-Wagon. This is crazy cool. This is really cool. We're going past then the old pits, which are on the right just here. The old pit lane, which emerges up the hill as well. And then we come down towards the bottom, which obviously everyone kind of refers to as Eau Rouge. But it's actually Radion, it's the corner. And I guess we're going to get the cars lined up. The guys here at RSR are just helping us to arrange it all. Well, this is quite surreal. One of the most famous corners in the entire world and two of the cars are here for a few photos. Thanks to RSR for arranging this. All very last minute, but very spectacular. And just look at how steep it is. So it goes up the hill here, of course. Keep it flat, maybe not if you're in a G-Wagon. Maybe you can if you're in a C63 Black Series. But what a place to be, having come from the Nürburgring to Spa-Francorchamps and now being here with those cars for a few photos out in the middle. A little bit mad. At this point, we've not yet gone the entire way around, which is what we're going to be doing next. <laughs> in a G-Wagon. We're heading onwards then, which means the drive up the hill. And this is where, obviously, if you're going flat out, you're running over the curbs on the inside here, completely blind to the exit line and the curbs on the left side of the track, before you have the Camel Straight where it completely opens up. And I wonder if even this actually might hit its top speed down here. If you're going flat down here, the top speed of this car is limited to 246 kilometers per hour, which is about 150 three miles per hour. How ridiculous is this? We've got the C63 Black Series in front. In its natural habitat, Black Series, track car, look at the fog. I mean, this is Spa in a nutshell. Horrible weather earlier. It's actually forecast to be quite sunny later. And here we are, in the G, following the sea, going for a full lap. Unreal. It is quite funny to now be driving some of these corners that I'm very familiar with, going a little bit more flat out but doing it at a, uh, a leisurely parade pace, a quiet pace, <laughs> cruising around. And actually one of the next corners is pretty crazy. So we come down the hill here and at the bottom is Puon, which is this massive, long, high-speed left-hander. 
and in a car like the Senna or the GT Black Series or GT2 RS or something like that, you feel the aero and the grip and the downforce because you can go very, very fast through it. In this car, I suspect if we were going quite fast around here, we would probably run into a little situation of understeer to needing all of that tarmac runoff area. This is um, quite fun, yeah, around here. This is where you just would keep keep your foot in it quite well from here, to be honest. Wow, we're doing a lap of spa Francochon in the G63, regardless of what pace it is. And you barely feel the curbs, and it's quiet, and it's calm, and it's peaceful. How fun is this? Then we come up to the end of the lap, the bus stop, the very, very tight chicane, where you're heavy on the brakes, really slow around here. You need to get back over to the right, <laughs> cross over to the left with the banana curb, and then the start straight. The start straight of spa Francochon without our foot being completely down, although having had our foot down so much on the autobahn, it's kind of all right. But here we are, down the grid. This is where many legends in Formula One have lined up under the gantry. And then we come to the very, very, very heavy braking first corner as well. This is always a deceptive one when you're on the pace. We're back in the pit lane, surrounded by all of the cars, and I'm pretending to myself that by wearing sunglasses, it's not pouring with rain. But in reality, it's very horrible weather. However, we have lots of GT3s, GT3 RSs, some McLarens, lots of cup cars, lots of very noisy cars, or something just heads out of the pit lane, and a lot going on on the points. Those new ones, the 992s, go so fast. The speed with which they fly out of every corner, you can see that they are a noticeable step up on anything else. Really, really quick. I'm literally standing by the uh, start line, enjoying some of the action out here. What do we have coming now? I mean, Porsches, Porsches everywhere. Sounding very, very, very sweet. We've got a cup coming next, do we? Yellow headlights going on. God, considering the conditions. Interesting to see as well what people do with braking and wet lines and stuff up in that direction. Yeah, anyway, just enjoying everything that's going on. Well, the weather is not going to be improving, so we're going to get back on the road. C63, G-Wagon, continuing to the Eurotunnel to cross back to the UK. Let's get on the road. Well, fast forward, it's actually now quite sunny. It is drying up. We've still got a long way to go. There has been an immense amount of traffic. And when I say immense, I mean we probably added about an hour, an hour and a quarter to our journey. I've actually been taking a bit of a chill in the back of the G63, getting on with some work and things. Got my laptop back there, which is just a more efficient way to do it. And that was the startup sound of the C63. Anyway, let's continue. Let's go onwards towards France and the UK. Into France then. Not long to go now until we make it the Eurotunnel. We have made it to the tunnel crossing. It has taken a very long time. We didn't get to make the train that we were trying to catch. We will catch the one after, which is somewhere over in that direction. It's quite windy here as well. But yes, next stop back into England after what has been a very long and very exhausting week, but a very, very, very cool one topped off with today. So last bit of the journey, let's get into the train, get over to the United Kingdom and head back towards the Museum. It is boarding time. And of course, when in a G wagon, you need the big carriages, the single deck. Obviously, with this thing, we've got the sea behind us, though. One of the noisiest pair of beasts to ever enter the Eurotunnel trains. Just like that, we have driven straight through. We're out in England with something like an hour and a half to go to get to the garage from here. And the noise begins. Jump ahead and we have made it back. We are here at the Schmuseum with the G63, with the C63 Black Series, and they are parked near the entrance because they are absolutely filthy. The weather is atrocious. It has been a day for that, to be honest, but both of these have handled the road trip admirably. More miles in the G because it did an extra airport run versus some of the others. I think about 1,600, 1,700 miles in the G, 1,500 miles or so in the C63 Black, and of course the GT Black and the SLS Black 
are both currently over in Germany and at some point they'll do a few more miles coming back home. Although with the GT Black doing so many laps of the Nürburgring, that's probably added up a fair chunk as well. I'm not sure exactly what it will be at the end, but Tom has been looking after this museum very nicely. Everything is currently tidied up. The STO is missing. It will be time to collect that again very soon. We also have Ben immediately running to the sim and playing at Spa as you would imagine, but what a trip this has been. Departing with the four cars, heading across the Euro Tunnel, over towards Paris to the Eiffel Tower, then via the famous Reims Grand Prix circuit, over into Germany, the Autobahn to Mechatronic, to then go to the home of Mercedes, Mercedes-Benz Museum, to AMG and a Fulterback, up to the Nürburgring to do plenty of laps, to go to Opus to check over all of the cars as well with Lucas, and then today via Spa, with thanks to RSR Nürburg, RSR Spa, and also Essa, who kindly arrange things to make it possible as well to take these two for some photos at an epic location really really special tour anyway for now thank you very much for coming along on the black series tour something i've been planning for a while but pulled off fairly spontaneously quite last minute with everything going very much to plan and what a drive it was thanks again for all of your support but that's it for now and i'll see you again very soon cheers